Hello everyone, my name is Ali from Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib and this is my participation for the Talented Speakers competition. My subject is how to make classes more interesting. A very common topic that I usually talk about with my friends are uh, why, isn't, uh, why aren't students more interested in class? Why don't they engage with the teacher? Why don't they ask when they don't understand? And uh, they usually tell me, oh, it's because of the building, it's because of uh, the teachers, because of the subjects, it's because of the, stu uh, the students. And I don't really think that the building has any major role in making the student more uh, interested in class. For example, if your friend calls you up and tells you, hey, let's hang out in my house, uh, let's play uh, some video games, and you go there, do you really care about how his house looks like? Do you really care if it's clean or not? No. Why? Because you're there to play with your friend. You're there because you care about your friend. And I think that is what we want. We want the student to care about his teacher. So the question is, how can we make the student more invested in class or the teacher? The answer, the teacher needs three main things in my opinion. Seriousness, humor, and creativity. So now that we understand those three things, uh, you might ask, why not one of them? Would it cause any problems? I'll say yes, a very big problem. For example, a teacher who's always uh, serious. Uh, we associate serious with being angry most of the time. I don't know why uh, serious teachers are, all, uh, are always angry, but this is how they go, I think. So, a teacher who's angry. You might not be able to ask him questions. Why? Because you feel this pressure, okay? You feel uh, that he's uh, very angry that he might blow up at your face. You are scared of him. So you might not be able to ask him any questions when you don't understand. And a humorous teacher is always uh, trying to make jokes, who's trying to make the students laugh, and he overdo it. It might lead to the student not giving any respect to the teacher. It could lead to a very annoying and obnoxious class. And I don't think uh, anybody wants to be in an obnoxious class or very annoying class. So when you uh, get all these three elements together, all right, you combine them like milk and sugar, what you will get? You will get a very superb class that is very interesting. And more than that, a bond will form between, between you and your teacher. So in the end, I don't really think there's a right answer for everyone. This is only my take on the matter. So please take my answer with a grain of salt. Thank you for listening and goodbye.